So my name is Ryan. I live in Palo Alto, but I'm from Maryland, and I am lactose intolerant. For everybody out there who doesn't know what lactose intolerance is, tell us briefly what being lactose intolerant means. Uh, and briefly, it means I can't have milk or other dairy products without experiencing some discomfort. Let's I say. see. Discomfort. And uh, can you elaborate a little bit on sure. discomfort? Sure. Um, discomfort typically means it's digestive discomfort. So it's gas, bloating, diarrhea, that sort of thing. Uh, is anyone else in your family lactose intolerant? Yes. My younger sister is, but I have a brother who is not and my parents are not. Okay. Um, uh, so do you... Do you have any experience with this being a genetic trait? Like, do, do, does this run in your family being lactose intolerant? I actually don't know because most of my family lives in the Philippines and they don't drink cow milk. They have the, they drink powdered milk and all this and non-dairy yeah. products because it's not as popular there. So it wasn't until I discovered I was lactose intolerant that I learned anything about it. And when did you discover that you were lactose intolerant? Uh, I would say that would be about two or three years ago. So Really? Yes. That late in life, huh? Yes. But they, when I found out I was lactose intolerant, it kind of explained some things from when I was younger. Because there were times like when I would have dairy products and I'd be fine, but then there were times if I had too much, I'd felt, I felt a little gassy. But when I discovered I was lactose intolerant, it kind of made sense that if I was young and overloaded on it, it made sense that then I would feel discomfort. I see. So when you were young, though, you felt like you could have normal amounts mm -hmm. and you were okay. Right. It wasn't until graduate school, until, uh, yeah, about two years ago that I discovered I was lactose intolerant. And I think it's because that's when it kind of just, when it really just kind of shut off. Right, right. How did that make you feel to sort of discover this about yourself? Well, like I said, it kind of made sense to me because uh, it explained a lot of things about why I'd randomly feel sick some days and why I wouldn't other days mm -hmm. and just depending on my breakfast. But it was kind of annoying to find out <laughs> mostly because I knew it would have to, I'd have to either change my diet or right. other things. So. so what are the kinds of foods you actually have to avoid um, if you are a lactose intolerant person? Um, if you're lactose intolerant and you're not taking any type of supplement, then you basically have to avoid anything that has an appreciable amount of dairy products in it. So obviously I'm not going to be drinking straight milk, <laughs> ice cream, pizzas with a lot of cheese on it, uh, taco, tacos, American style tacos, burritos, all those things, cake, cheesecake. So what you're saying is that there's a lot of food restrictions. Yes. It is a... There's a lot, a huge part of the diet that is, has dairy products in it. And so discovering lactose intolerant kind of makes it more difficult to get that sort of. So do you find yourself uh, in situations, I guess, social situations where you see a food come out and you're like, oh gosh, I really want that. And then you're like, oh gosh, I can't eat it. Yes, um, especially I do, I do try to carry around lactase pills, uh, lactase enzyme pills. But if I don't have them, then yes, if someone's like, let's go out for ice cream, I go, Oh, I guess I can't. Or, yeah. Or if there's pizza, especially if people, you know, at the last minute want to get pizza or certain go out for dinner and we haven't decided if they suggest pizza, I had, I have to go. Oh, I don't. I can't really eat that. Are people receptive to this when you tell them? Like, if you tell a group of friends or even new people, hey, I'm like, I'm intolerant. You know, can you know, can we do something else? Or can we get something else? Are people normally receptive? Yes, uh, especially in California, actually, because in California, a lot of people are know people with various dietary restrictions or who are on different diets and so it's definitely it hasn't really affected my social life it mm -hmm. just means that we do something else you mentioned lactase pills what exactly is a lactase pill and where do you get it how much does it cost a lactase pill is just a little pill about a little less than an inch big by a quarter inch that is just a, a number of units of lactase enzyme so lactose intolerance means my body doesn't produce lactase anymore, which is the enzyme that breaks down the lactose sugar into two different sugars. So this pill, I eat it. I always buy the fast act pills, so I can just eat it with my first bite of food and it kind of dissolves and tries to break down all the sugars in my stomach. And so I take that with my first bite of dairy and then I'm usually good for about 45 minutes before I have to take another one. Oh wow, uh, how much do they cost? Um, I would say it's about 10 cents a pill. So 120 would be about 12 to $13 at Safeway, for example. Wow, so it's over the counter mm -hmm. and you think it's a good deal? I think it's a good deal because 
you know, especially since I'm lactose intolerant, I've cut down on the amount of dairy I have incidentally. Mm -hmm. So it means that if I'm controlling it of one box, 120, that's 120 servings of dairy products. <laughs> that's a lot of dairy. Yeah. And, you know, if I switched out the milk I buy for the one that already is lactose free. So that means I don't have to take a pill every time I drink a glass of milk. Um, is this a trait you would ever want to change about yourself at all? Definitely. I just feel, I mean, being lactose intolerant just means I can live my same life and eat the same amount of, eat the same foods and do the same things I want to, but I just have to spend more money to do it because I buy the lactase, lactose free milk and I buy the lactase pills to supplement other meals. Are there any advantages to being a lactose intolerant? The only advantage I would think is if you're trying to diet. Like if you're trying to lose weight, you're not going to be eating the deep dish Chicago style pizzas or the burritos if you're lactose intolerant, because even with lactase pills, that might just still be too much dairy to consume at one time. So, I mean, that's the only advantage I can see. <laughs> Otherwise, it's just kind of, like I said, it's an, an annoyance in your life. So do people ever tease you about it? Like, do your friends ever like, you know, uh, we'll say nicely tease you. I can't imagine somebody like teasing, teasing <laughs> you. Well, actually, last time I came here, I walked in and they were like, oh, you're Ryan, you're lactose intolerant. And then people were eating rice and oh, I guess you can't have that. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, it's just lighthearted things. It's just like, oh, I've got my pills, it doesn't matter, and things like that. Have you ever gotten your own personal genetic information done from a company like 23andMe? Yes, I have. And did what did that tell you about you being lactose intolerant? Did it confirm this or? Um, it confirmed I have the the genotype that is likely lactose intolerant. Because uh, since lactose intolerant can also depend on environmental factors, like mm -hmm. your, your actual gut bacteria that breaks down the lactose, it means I have the tendency to be lactose intolerant, but it doesn't mean I am. The only way you can confirm that you are is to kind of know that you are. You said that you found out you were lactose intolerant mm -hmm. relatively recently. Did you have the personal genetic information before or after you knew that? Uh, it was afterwards. Oh, it was after. Okay, yeah. okay. So I knew I was lactose intolerant, and then I got the 23andMe, and it said, yes, you have the genotype that is likely lactose intolerant. Oh, okay. And I said, well, yes. <laughs> You're like, yes, correct. It's like when I, you know, you see the 23andMe, it's like, you are likely, you likely have brown eyes. And I look in the mirror and I go, yes. Yes, so you are correct, 23andMe. So you say the lactase pills work, the ones you take, you, mm -hmm. you say they're fast acting, and then you take one and you're normally good for like 45 minutes. Um, are there other types of lactase pills out there? Sure, there's another type of lactase pills that's more slow acting, and they're generally a little cheaper. But that one you have to take about half an hour in advance of eating any dairy. Mm -hmm. And so for that kind, that means you have to kind of plan ahead of what you're eating, whereas since I don't like that with, in terms of planning my meals, oftentimes I'm just, I take just the fast act pills because it allows me to make quick decisions on food. And can you take two of your fast acting ones at once to last longer or does that not work? Um, I, I don't know about it lasting longer, but if I'm eating a large thing of dairy, so like I mentioned before, the deep dish Chicago style pizza, I'll take two. I'll take two at that first bite because I know it's a lot to process, so taking two at once would help. What would you uh, say if you could give advice to somebody who, was, let's say we we're talking to Ryan three years ago before he found out he was lactose intolerant and he you know, just discovered that uh, you're lactose intolerant, what advice would you give that person? I think the first advice would be to test your limits on lactose tolerance. So I can have a bite of ice cream or one nacho with cheese or what that and won't bother. So like knowing your limit on what you can have without any kind of supplement is useful. And also to just make the decision whether you're going to change your diet or buy the pills or some kind of combination of both. Just kind of figure it out. Or, and look into lactose-free alternatives to milk. Or They even have lactose-free ice cream now, but it's very expensive. So sure. it's like, is it worth it to buy the ice cream so you don't have to take pills? Or do you want to take pills every single time you eat ice cream sort of thing? It's kind of just decide all the different ways to manage your lactose intolerance and figure out which way is the best for you. Can your lactose intolerance get worse over time or have you noticed you know, that you become even more intolerant now that you use maybe the lactase pill? Um, yes, I would definitely say I've become more lactose intolerant since I discovered it. When I discovered it, I still could have a single serving of dairy mm -hmm. 
and not experience symptoms, but now it's to the point where I can't even have a full serving of dairy. So I, I can't have an eight ounce glass of like, of regular milk mm -hmm. without experiencing some symptoms. So yeah, I think definitely it's been, I've been more lactose intolerant over the time, but I don't know what causes that if it's just the fact that my body is producing less and less and less and that's a gradual thing, or if it has anything to do with supplementing it or not having normal lactose. Mm -hmm. So. But I'm not sure. Well, thank you for coming in and chatting with us. Yeah, thanks for talking. I don't get to talk about this that often. <laughs>